okay, I've got a new technique for using camping mode, which is not really camping mode, but it keeps the AC on all the time without having any exterior lights on, which is better than camping mode. And it starts with this mouse jiggler. So I got to program this first. And all it does basically is it keeps something going on your screen so your screen never turns off and goes to sleep, which it does after 30 minutes if you notice that on your Tesla. So let me program it. All right, so here's the mouse jiggler. And this is actually a cover that goes on the end. You just, see, this is my, my wireless uh, mouse. You plug it into a little USB slot. It recognizes it. And then what else you need to do is you need to go and install this mouse jiggler app on your computer. I'll have a link for this in the video description here. The different links for the different jigglers in case this Hacker 9 article goes away. And basically once you do that, you'll, you'll open it up on the app and you'll go to file, you'll do a new script and it's blank here. When you go on new script, it's blank. And what you do is you go and you type this exact information in. I'll leave it up here so you can see it. And I'll also include this on uh, the text here in the video, the description, so that you can have it. But you can pause this and write it down. This is what you need. Create a new script, add the events in, and then click play button on your computer to deploy the mouse jiggler. And then once you get to uh, your Tesla, you go ahead and just plug it in. I think all you need to do is just plug it in and it does this routine automatically of, of uh, keeping something going on your screen, which is pretty cool. Tell you if you're unfamiliar, just to tell you if you're unfamiliar, you do not have to actually manually type all the stuff in. You just go over here, add a new event, and then it's a mouse movement, the first one. Uh, we do, I think, 100 units to the left. You have to use this and go way up. 100 units to the left. I think that was the first one, right? Let's go back and check it. Yeah, move mouse 100 units left, 100 units up, delay one second. So let's go back here. 100 units left, 100 units up. and then delay one second. That's it, right? Move mouse 100 units left, 100 units up, delay one second. Now, delay zero seconds. Make sure you get that right. Just do this exactly as it is, and then you'll be ready to go after you, you can test it. Really not that difficult, just a little bit tedious, that's all. Okay, so I've got it typed in here. Should be the, should be the same as this. 100 units, 100 units, and then 1, 1, 1, 1, let's see, 100 units, 100 units, okay, so we'll save it, and then, let's see, I'll call it Tesla, how about that, start jiggling, It does. So I guess it's working. I don't see what it's doing. Actually, there it is. It's up in the upper left. So that's what it'll be doing in your Tesla. It'll be up in the upper left of the screen. And just kind of hanging out, doing that. Hopefully it works. All right, well, I'm sorry to say my first attempt with this mouse jiggler and using camping mode without having to put it into neutral uh, parking brake on and marker lights on didn't work. It didn't work at all. So I've got this new script and what I did was I deleted the factory default and put this one in. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but check this out. Hopefully this new script with this exact information in it will work. Okay, I almost forgot a couple of very last details. Here is the script that you want to put in your mouse jiggler on the software. Put it in exactly like this. Thanks to a guy, Max, that I met on the Worldwide Tesla Facebook group. This seems to work for me. But it doesn't always work. Now make sure after you put this in that you click run, that you run this. Jiggle the mouse and then pull the little... Thing out of your computer after you start jiggling 
and it should be in here to jiggle. Although sometimes I find that it stops and you gotta reinsert it. If you find it's not working in your car, one of the things could be to reinsert this in here, do this again, which it should save it as long as you save it, and just run it again and then pull it out. Then come over here, plug it in one of these connections. And the, all right, before you plug it in, actually before you plug it in, here's a way to test if it's gonna work without waiting a half hour. When you open this up, go to the Easter egg for the draw pad, so it's all white. When you put this in, go ahead and put it in, you should see the cursor appear within about 10 seconds, a blue dot. See if you see it, let's see. There it is, see that blue dot? That's how you know it's working. If you don't see that blue dot within a few seconds, something's wrong. Go ahead and repeat all these steps, reprogram it, rejiggle it, plug it into a new thing, make sure you've got this notepad on. And now you'll see, since you saw it blink once, it's gonna run the routine and it will blink all the time now, which will keep your car on. But unless you see that initial blue dot, do not assume that it's working. And one last thing, make sure that when you leave the car, and you know that it's working, make sure you unplug the jiggler because otherwise you're gonna be running and draining all this stuff out and let's talk about phantom drain. Anyway, this is the most complete guide I could give you on how to do this. I hope it's gonna work for you. Um, give me some comments here if, it's, if it works for you and, and if not, and really, I have tested everything. I couldn't get this for work to work for so long. It finally is working. I know it's working. So leave me some comments. Send me some private messages through Facebook. Oh, it just, it just blinked again. You missed it. Whatever you need to do, and I will help you out with this in whatever way I can because I think it's a really cool feature that should have been included in the car and wasn't. It's just a little, little workaround we have to do to get to it.